Hey, it's Guard here. One of my subscribers had a question about the distance from the bottom of the rack to the hitch, top of the hitch here. So I thought I would just, I'll, I'll do that in a second, but I just thought I'd do a quick demonstration on the uh, bike rack. That's my uh, that's my jet coming in. I I I I'd ordered it off of Amazon, and uh, they're gonna bring it by in an Amazon van soon. Anyway, so one of my subscribers he asked about the the height from the bottom of the rack to the to the hitch, but I thought I'd also just demonstrate the rack too because it's it's different. And I haven't seen many videos on how to use it. When it's attached to the back of the RV, it looks like this. I mean, this is normal travel. To lower it, you have to raise these up, and you got to be real careful. You just don't throw them up because if you do, they will hit the window. Especially this one. You can see right there, it's touching the glass right here. So that's just a, a major uh, warning. Don't fling it up there. Next thing you want to do is lower the, the bottom of it. So there's these little brackets here, plastic. They feel like they'll break, so just give it a little ease there. If you kind of raise it up a little bit, so it's in about the middle of the of the, the run right here, it's a little easier to take off, I've discovered. So lower that like that, and then this comes down, and there's a couple little like clamps here that go around this pipe. So it's just like that. The next thing you want to do is slide this out. But just for quickness here, to answer a subscriber's question, here's the top of the rack. It's about even with this because this kind of comes up a little bit. So the distance from there to here is pretty pretty much accurate. And it's um, from here it's 21 inches to the bottom of this uh, knob, this uh, bolt head right here. So 21 inches uh, clearance. Okay, so now if you want to put a bike in, you loosen this up right here and this little tray will slide out. If it doesn't come out all the way, just loosen it a little bit more and it'll come out. Next thing you want to do is loosen these up. Put a little tension on that just for the time being. Take those straps out like that and we're going to put our bike up there. Now, these bike racks really work good for bikes that have a, a straight tube across from here to here. My bike's got this slope down tube and Deb's bike is it's a woman's bike so it's even more pronounced. But that's how you do it and then you just take these little straps here and you just tighten them in rotate the wheel make sure this is tight like that put the back one through a wheel here and then tighten that up and that's basically putting the bike on the bike on the rack um, it's really easy to take the bikes you know to steal the bike too so it's probably best to this is yeah. For the second bike. Yeah, that'd be for a second bike. Okay. If you had a second bike on there, you would turn it around so the handlebars were out here. You'd put the you'd put the uh, this bike on first and then this bike second. But um, I'm just doing one bike right now. So there's what it looks like on the rack. To take it off, you just go ahead and you push this little button here like that. Pull this out. Flip it aside, right here, like that. 
you would do the same thing on the top hold your bike so it doesn't fall on you and pull that strap out grab your bike lift it up and put it down okay so there taking the bike off now if you don't want to travel with the rack you can always remove it and we usually travel without it so you just oh this is a little bit of a um a warning too because this will this will get you if you're not careful if you have the rack on and you have it open like that and you were to open this door up and and do this and you forget about it when you close it back you're gonna smack yourself so just remember that it's not much of a big deal you'll do it one time and then you'll remember okay so to remove the rack just put it back the way it kind of it was remember don't fling that up there and don't fling that up you just gently place it give it a little bit of a a lift make sure these are spread apart and then right there in the middle bring this one up to the middle it goes on a little bit easier Go like that bring this down and bring this down now this is almost a two-person job I mean um, one person can do it I do it by myself but Sometimes it's best to have help because it's a little, little heavy. But you have to unscrew these knobs. There's four of these that hold the rack onto the back of the van. So you unscrew these and don't lose them because they're probably, uh, probably expensive to replace. I have a question. Uh huh. When you're driving and you have the rack on, does it just do like that, or can you lower it so that it? comes up underneath or is it just loose Which, it's just loose it's not it doesn't present a problem does no, it no just wondering and these are adjustable you can pull this out like this this i wonder this. if you put them up maybe they would catch here and stay it, it's possible i mean you could probably uh that's spike down there digging just wondering no it's not gonna no. do that okay okay you can always get a little tie wrap or something to put on it. Yeah. So let me. I know we've driven with the rack before, and I never we never noticed anything bouncing no. back here. But I was just wondering. Yeah. Put that back on here. Okay. So I got one off. I take the bottom ones off first, just because. If you took the top ones off first, see when you take the bottom ones off like this, the rack's not gonna do nothing because it's it's gonna try to pivot down here, but this is holding it up there. If these were off and that was still there, it could pivot and it would bust that. Okay, so now here, this is the, the little tougher part because I'm gonna take off the two that hold it. I like to take this one off first because of the clearance right here. So I hold it with my left hand, I take this out, lay it down. Okay, now I gotta make sure I support the rack because it will come off. And I take out the other one. And I don't remove it all the way from the rack, I just remove it from the door vent and step back with it, like that. Then I take these off and set it aside. Okay, make sure you don't let it fall over, but it, you know, it's balanced that way. And I actually keep these in the van. I have a little box back here with some, some uh, parts. So I just keep them back in there. That way they don't get lost because those are easy to lose. The rack itself, it's kind of hard to lose that. It's kind of big. So, um, that's that's that and uh, this is just like this so that's what it looks like with the with the rack off so if you got any questions about the bike rack oh it oh let me show you right here too it says that right here it's a black river by summit and it says right here maximum weight capacity 100 pounds 
So the rack supposedly will hold 100 pounds. That's 50 pounds per bike. How much does our bike? And I think my bike, if I remember right. 40 something? 45? No, I, th I think it's 35 pounds or so. It seems heavy, but. It seems heavy. But um, two big bikes is probably a load for that. I wouldn't put any electric bikes on there, e-bikes. Mm -hmm. But um, it's really great for just lightweight, um, 10 speed bikes, whatever they call them nowadays, you know, like just the, the racer bikes, you know, the lightweight bikes. Uh, the lighter, the better. Well, if you got any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll be doing some other videos uh, about the generator, running a generator on this. Not that generator, but my standalone generator. I'll do that later on today. So thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.